Scania OptiCruise has a large number of special features that have been developed to provide the best possible support for the professional driver. Ergonomics is a typical Scania strength, intuitive and easy to reach. All controls related to gear changing are gathered in the steering wheel lever. The rotary switch is used to select drive, neutral and reverse. It is also used to toggle between performance modes. Pushing the lever changes down and pulling it changes up, enabling the driver to override the automatic changes if needed. The whole lever is used to control retarder braking. Pressing the button at the end switches between manual and automatic, allowing the driver to do all gear changing manually. The little switch at the side engages automatic retarder braking via the brake pedal. Pushing the lever more than one second will engage maneuvering mode, which enables precision driving millimeter by millimeter. Maneuvering mode disengages automatically in high range. Scania OptiCruise is now offered with up to three performance modes on each vehicle, enabling vehicle performance to be tailored to individual needs. All settings can be adjusted by a Scania workshop. Standard mode is the all-round mode, optimized to provide good fuel economy while still delivering good hill performance. The system strives to run the engine at maximum torque uphill, yet with minimal time loss. Scania Active Prediction is fully integrated. Economy mode is tuned to consume as little fuel as possible, at some sacrifice in trip time. Alternative speed limiter settings of 85 or 80 km per hour can be chosen, which engage automatically when engaging economy mode. Kickdown is disabled. Scania Active Prediction uses a special fuel saving strategy. Off-road mode prioritizes mobility and is suitable for rough terrain and conditions with high rolling resistance. Off-road mode is suitable for construction purposes and can be specified on other trucks as well, for example in forestry or on-road construction. Engine response is soft and the system strives to keep the clutch engaged as much as possible to avoid braking traction. The number of gear changes is minimized by allowing the engine to work over a wider rev band. Gear changes are faster with a priority on gear changing speed over comfort. Normal cruise control functionality. Scania Active Prediction is not available. We recommend that tippers are specified with off-road mode as well as standard mode for on-road driving. A timber truck probably needs off-road mode for accessing loading sites and standard mode is useful for running on the road. Power mode is intended for runs where transport time or performance are at a premium. Engine response is aggressive and uphill performance optimized by running the engine at maximum power with slightly quicker gear changes than in standard mode. Normal cruise control works but Scania Active Prediction is not available. In addition to the performance modes, Scania OptiCruise features a large number of special features that have been developed to provide the best possible support for the professional driver. With the 12 plus 2 speed gearbox, Scania OptiCruise is the only system that offers two extra slow crawler ratios for ultra slow progress in fully mechanical drive. These crawlers are automatically used for starting if necessary. Rocking is enabled automatically if the drive wheels are spinning and the front wheels standing still. The clutch disengages immediately when the accelerator is released. The driver can thus press the accelerator repeatedly to provoke rocking and get the vehicle moving again. Rocking is disabled in off-road mode to make sure the clutch is engaged as much as possible. Hill hold makes starting uphill simply a matter of accelerating away. Activate the hill hold switch, brake, start accelerating within 3 seconds after releasing the brake. Hill hold is now available for more configurations, including construction and with drum brakes. Normal starts are made by slipping in the automatic clutch slightly above idling speed. For tough starts, for example on steep hills or on very soft ground, the driver can trigger higher starting revs by pushing down the accelerator fully. The clutch will then slip in at around a thousand revs. By pre-selecting D or R before stopping, the starting gear will engage without delay when the vehicle stops.
Changing down manually several steps before entering a steep hill leaves the engine revving and the gearbox in neutral. The gear engages as soon as the speed is right and the truck starts climbing at maximum power. If you know from experience, for example, that the vehicle will climb in fourth gear, you can change to fourth beforehand and just wait for the climb to start. The small switch at the left on the floor engages the exhaust brake and triggers down changing for maximum engine braking without engaging the retarder. Scania is the only manufacturer offering automated gear changing with an optional clutch pedal, a preferred choice for some operators. Scania OptiCruise is a cost-effective solution for heavy haulage at gross train weights of up to 250 tons. Power transmission is purely mechanical via Scania's normal automatic clutch and a standard Scania overdrive gearbox. Mechanical drive is efficient and saves fuel. In combination with hill hold, starting this 120-ton combination on an 8% incline is just a matter of pressing the accelerator. Scania OptiCruise has been refined into a highly advanced, easy-to-handle powertrain management system with a host of clever features that helps the driver to do an utterly professional job while saving fuel, emissions and wear and tear on the vehicle.